Sato, no more drama. Senate votes 90% filled. Senator Bison Sato Bree said he did not expect controversy when the Senate opened its session and the signed committee chairmanships on Monday. The Senate leader said more than 90% of committee chairmanships have been assigned. He also said Senator Pio Cavano had agreed to head the Ways and Means Committee, which would handle past legislation. Cavano's agreement just made my life easier, Sato said. As for the other posts, Senators will decide on these at a caucus. After the session, he said. When asked if there might be any controversy when the Senate reopens, Sato said in a text message, not really. It's a matter of just explaining and settling issues surrounding the committees involved. Sato is expected to remain Senate President as there has been no serious challenge to his position. Last month, he met with colleagues, including the newly elected Senators, to discuss the committees they would head. Choice posts among the committee posts to be decided is education, which Senators Joe Ogilin Leita and Sherwin Gatalian want to lead. Sato said K. Edino, who had earlier expressed interest in the chairmanship, would no longer pursue it. Sato earlier said the Finance Committee, which would be in charge of the national budget, was expected to be assigned to Senator Geneva Gohanro. Senator Christopher Lawrence Go, the President's longtime aide, may get the committees on health and urban planning. Senator Ronald De La Rosa, the former Philippine National Police Chief, is expected to head the Public Order and Dangerous Drugs Committee. Senator Francisco Lantino wants to lead the Local Government Committee. Senator Ramon Revela Jr., for his part, expressed interest in the committees on public information and on civil service. Constitutional Amendment Senator Lito Lapid wants to head the Games and Amusement Committee. The Committee on Constitutional Amendments, chaired by Senator Francis Pumilanen in the 17th Congress, may also be up for discussion. There is interest in it now but it falls in the category of incumbent equity. I told the parties involved that we can talk about it later on, Sato said. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.